Hi everyone, Angela Rockwood here with World Poker Tour of the Royal Flush Crew, and I'm sitting here with our poker player, Art Papazian. We're getting into the core of his heart and who he is as a person. So Art, thank Hi. you for doing this so much. It, it took us a while to get together. Hi. And I want to start off by asking, where are you from? I'm from LA. Seriously? Uh, I'm from LA, yeah. Straight up? Straight up from LA, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You were born in LA. Uh, raised in LA. I was born in Armenia. Okay. Raised in LA, though. So you're a transplant then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was about to say, because if you're born here, you're like a rare, because most people born here and then raised, that's like very rare. Yeah. And so how did you start playing poker? I started playing like for fun, for play money when I was a teenager. Uh, wow. Just for just for fun, you know, and uh, I like throughout the years, like in college and stuff, I played like online, like skipping classes and stuff, just being like a rebel, just doing terrible in life, but just to play like online poker. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. So from then till now, would you say that you've developed your own sense of style with poker? I've dedicated like my entire life to poker. So um, I've like learned throughout the years, like many different like stuff and like techniques styles whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. and like still continuing to like learn and every day that's it's my passion it's my life so you won legends of poker yeah and i was there you were i actually was yeah. like he's got to win <laughs> let's just say that part but i was like he's got to win and you actually won i was like yes so from then up until now what extraordinary thing has happened to you i thought like a lot would happen to me you know like mm -hmm. you know i won legends of poker like i got like poker famous or whatever and like had a lot more money and stuff but um like not a lot changed like before i won legends of poker like poker was my life mm -hmm. after legends of poker poker was still my life i think that's the only thing that changed like people started asking me for money I was about to say, <laughs> did you notice that people were like treating you differently after you won like random people would like come up to me say hi you know like i'm a fan congratulations mm -hmm. and stuff but like and how did you take that I thought it was cool, honestly. Like, it's good to be like kind of like recognized for someone, something that you really like love to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if you reach like a high plateau or something, you know, it's kind of good, like, you know, not really like egotistical kind of way to like, kind of like, okay, this person like recognizes, hey, you know, something that I worked really hard to like to do and accomplish. So, that stuff, my parents like bought them a home. I was about to say, have you yeah. bought your parents yeah. anything? Yeah, car, my mom. You know. So, how do they feel about you playing poker now? In the beginning, it was really bad. I'm sure it was. Yeah, because my parents are like really, I grew up in a very conservative home. Mm -hmm. My parents, like, they didn't have a good job. My parents didn't make any, like, a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know. So, like, the dream was for me to, like, go to school, like, a first generation and go to school, get a good job. But I, I wasn't, like, a great student and I knew I was never going to, I was never going to make, get a good job and make a lot of money. So. Wow. <laughs> so, this kind of, it, it's kind of connected with the happiness. Yeah. So with playing all the poker and everything that you do, yeah. how do you find balance? I try to take the dog to the park every single day mm -hmm. and then like go to the gym. And then later at night, I like to like call my friends. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, come over, let's hang out, watch some TV or I like, go to a bar. Mm -hmm. Like this is pretty much like the only way that I can like keep sane. You know, like my friends, like I've known them for like my entire life. I don't have like new friends, mm -hmm. you know, just people that like, that knew me like when I had nothing mm -hmm. and like they're like they're they're still there now you know and like they don't know me as like art they know me as yeah, Arthur you know exactly like that's beautiful yeah so what is your new year's resolution or anything that is on your bucket list yeah. that you want to accomplish before 2020 I want to go I want to travel I want to go I want to go to Europe I want to go to Armenia I haven't been to Armenia since like you have to do that I haven't been to Armenia since I was born oh my gosh three, I, I came here when I was three so, and what are the goals if you go to Armenia? What's going to happen? Meet my family. I have four aunts there. Four. So you're going to do that by the end of this year? I want to, yeah. And last <laughs> but not least, is there anything that you could say to a poker player out there? Advice from all the years that you've played? Um, like, if you really want to succeed in this game, you have to, like, dedicate your life to it, honestly. Like, it's not, it's not, like, it's not easy. Um, sure, you'll you see people like win a tournament, you know, win all this money and stuff. And there is like people that like you could get lucky in the tournament, you could get like this, this, and that. But like to like find like to do really well in poker, you have to pretty much like dedicate your life to it. You gotta play a lot. You gotta study. You have to like have friends that play. You gotta you know just immerse yourself. You know, like it's not easy, but 
if you really, really, you know, try, if you like put in like a lot of hours like I did, it's possible. Just sign up at clubwpt.com and get the game.